Hey everyone, it's Heather here. Hope you're doing great today and I'm hoping this works better this time. My camera keeps stopping on me and not holding on to the recording that it's even done when it stops. So fingers crossed this time. Um, wanting to share today a, um, an awesome little excerpt that I've been reading of John Astaroff's and it, excuse me, I don't know if I heard that very, or said that very well, but John Astaroff and he does um, uh, it's a really awesome read. It's a guiding principles for leading an exceptional life. And now there's definitely more than just one, but I'm going to share the one today and uh, and I'll maybe do the others in another video. But the one I wanted to share was how he said that the meaning he gives things determines how he feels. And so by by knowing that, he makes sure that he chooses a meaning that is something that will empower him. And that is something I think is huge to all of us because <clears throat> A lot of things we experience, we may not know what's coming. I'm sure we know Christmas is coming, we know birthdays are coming, and we may have good or bad experiences we can reflect on with both of those, but different things come to us, um, and it's how we, we go through them. Um, like, like I went through that car accident, if I looked back on it, people used to say to me, it could be the worst day or the best day, and I said, well, it's never been the worst day because it was the first day I, I ever took pictures of a cat that I had that honestly saved my life. And so I said I never looked at it as a bad day because it's the day that I get to remember him because of those pictures. And it, like I say, it's minor, but um, but it was major in how I reversed that. So it wasn't the worst day. It actually was a great day, um, despite all the um, negativities that happened that day and all the scary stuff that went on. It ended in a positive result. So the thing is, is it's really important to retrain our, our minds because in that example. If I had looked at that as the worst, then everything that followed that as a response or, or a consequence of that action um, or that, that incident would be additional negative um, uh, additions to that, to that initial negative experience, to that initial experience that I've reflected on and made negative. And so, again, another retrain of the thought. Um, but it's important because if I continually left that on a negative note, I wouldn't recover the same as I have. I would still be uh, dwelling in that negativity. I would still be looking at my in um, incapacities and um, capabilities that are just not happening. And so the thing is, is when I reversed that and thought positively about things and began using my smile and my laughter to to fuel me and to keep me going on things, well, next thing you know, I was conquering all their predictions. You know, next thing you know, I was um, talking, I was walking, I was eating on my own, I was this, I was that, I was whatever. And I, w I went, next thing I was back in school, and, and next thing, I, you know, I kept doing all these incredible excels of, of what happened because I looked on that experience as a positive and I gave it a positive meaning. And, and so that it really is huge. Um, like I say, it can be minor, can be, I mean, birthdays can be big, but it can be minor such as something small like that, but can have a big reflection later on. And so, but there, it's, it's just something, it's really important to reverse things, you know, because then how we lead our lives and how we can express ourselves really comes down through that. You know, everything, every experience we go through gets an identity through the feelings that we have from it. But the problem is, is if we allow that feeling to become the identity, things shift. And so we have to make sure that we shift it to something that empowers us, not something that will take away from what we do. Because if we've found what we want to do or we think we're going in the direction that is right for us and we feel it's right for us, we want that to feel completely right for ourselves. So let yourself be empowered. Empower yourself because you can. You don't need anybody. I mean, it's awesome having other people inspire us and empower us as well and encourage and all that kind of thing, but it starts with us. And so if we can encourage ourselves and empower ourselves with the feelings we have through the experiences we go through, um, whether they be negative or positive, we will come out better on the other side. So really do what you can to um, to look at this in a, in a positive way. Um, whatever you go through, even if you have a negative experience, just do what you can to add a positive note to it so it's not something that intimidates you to go back to, whether it be a place, um, a person, a, um, an activity, whatever. Just really do what you can to implement this and really see what you can do about retraining your brain. And have an incredible day. I can't wait to see you guys again.